Please have a look at these questions. Question number one, a trade-off is, uh, is a transaction at price either above or below equilibrium price? No, the trade-off is basically uh, a constraint that you require giving up one thing to get the another. That is a trade-off. You are getting something and you are giving up on something, right? So this seems to be a right option. Your trade-off uh, is a constraint that requires sacrificing uh, one thing in order to get one other thing. A production function is this, and it is set to display uh, what returns to scale. Well, you know this, that uh, you can just increase both uh, X and Y by lambda. So in place of x, you have lambda x to the power a. In place of y, you can write lambda y to the power b. And you have lambda a plus b. So this lambda, uh, I mean, this a plus b is given to you as 2, which is greater than 1. So that is the case of increasing returns to scale. Assume that firm I and firm J have the co have the marginal cost C for an identical good in oligopolistic market. So basically this question is talking about uh, what is an Ash equilibria. So in case if I am firm, uh, firm I and you guys are firm J, and if my price is lower than your price, then everyone is going to come to me. If your price is lower than my price, everybody is going to go towards you. If your and my price is same, then people will be, will be indifferent. Half of the consumers are going to buy from me and half are going to buy from you. So uh, the thing is that in this case, Nash equilibria is PI equals to PJ equal to C because in all other cases, there is a profitable deviation which exists. So for example, in this case, PI greater than PJ equals to C. Now here in this case, my price is lesser than, uh, sorry, is more than your price which is equal to C, right? So is there a profitable deviation which exists? Yes, there exists a profitable deviation. Huh? So Abito, nobody is coming to me because I am firm I, you guys are firm J. So supposedly if I put price equals to this, so half of the consumers are going to come to me. 50% of the market is better than 0% of the market. So there is a profitable deviation which exists. So this can't be an Ash equilibrium. PI greater than PJ greater than C, right? So here I am charging more than what you are charging, but you are also making profit and everybody is going to go towards you. So if I'm going to undercut you, supposedly if I put the price PJ minus epsilon, so whatever you are charging, I'm going to charge a little lesser than you. Then what is going to happen is that uh, people are going to come towards me then. So earlier I was, I was having 0% market. Now I will have 100% market. So is this an Ash equilibrium? No, because there is a profitable deviation which exists. PI less than PJ less than C, right? I am charging less than what you are charging, but that is less than cost. So although the entire market is going to come towards me, right? But uh, do you think uh, I'm making any profits? I'm not making any profits. So it is better to shut down. By shutdown may I'm not making any profits. So shutdown is better than negative profits. So there is a profitable deviation which exists. So this cannot be an Ash equilibrium. There is no profitable deviation which exists from here. May or tum ekhi price charge kar rahe, which is equal to cost, right? Which is equal to marginal cost. अगर मेरा प्राइस मैं अगर प्राइस को बढ़ा देता हूं क्या वो मेरे लिए बेहतर है नहीं है बेहतर क्यों बिकॉज़ कोई भी मेरे पास नहीं आएगा हां सो so, वैसे अगर आप सोचो तो यहां पे भी मैं जीरो प्रॉफिट ही कमा रहा हूं अगर मैं प्राइस बढ़ाता हूं तो भी मैं जीरो प्रॉफिट ही कमा रहा लेकिन यहां पे बात होती है प्रॉफिटेबल डेविएशन की मैं डेविएट तो तब करूंगा ना जब मुझे कोई प्रॉफिट हो रहा होगा ऐसे मैं नीचे क्यों जाऊंगा इस प्राइस से व्हाई विल आई चार्ज लेस देन व्हाट यू आर चार्जिंग अननेसेसरीली हालांकि सारे मार्केट मेरे पास आ जाएगा तो क्या मैं सी से कम करना चार्ज चालू कर दूं आई मीन क्या मैं लॉस लूं वो भी नहीं होगा सो कोई प्रॉफिटेबल डेविएशन एग्जिस्ट नहीं करती है इसलिए नाश इक्विलिब्रिया राइट सो इट्स अ बर्टन नाश इक्विलिब्रिया आई थिंक आई हैव अ वीडियो ऑन दिस आल्सो सो यू कैन जस्ट सी टू इट्स अ डिटेल के अंदर उसको डिस्कस करा गया है 
if yfl k is a linearly homogeneous production function the moment if they are writing linearly homogeneous production function it means that they are talking about crs production function it means they are talking about crs production function then multiplying all inputs by a constant 2 results uh, of results in the output increasing by a factor of 2 only by crs production function na right so in case of CRS production function, if I double all inputs, then my output will also be double. Right? That is the point. So this is there. Now we are talking about national woes. Uh, your uh, your uh, uh, Nash equilibria. Ki baat kar rahe hai. Firm 1 and 2 can cooperate to share the markets or compete with each other. The figures in the cell represent crores and profits. They can either cooperate with each other and they share 10 crores. Okay. Alternatively, they can compete, which lowers the market to uh, output to four crores. So that two plus two is four, and here five plus five is ten. If one firm competes with the other, while the other cooperates, the former obtains ten. Okay, that's a normal prisoner's dilemma kind of game. So if I cooperate, what will you do? Will you cooperate or will you compete? You will compete. You're getting higher profits there. If you compete between zero and two, what will I pick up? Compete. Uh, I'm getting higher profits between 0 and 2. So if I compete between 0 and 2, what will you pick up? 2, that is compete. So this is a Nash equilibria. This guy is a Nash equilibria. So corporate, corporate is a Nash equilibria. Right? Keeping a consumer's income constant, if bundle X is chosen by a consumer, when bundle Y is available, then when, then when bundle Y is chosen, X must not be feasible alternative. The property of this consumer is known as weak axiom. Right? This is weak axiom of reveal preference. Right? If I chose X, and Y available, then I reveal my preference. I have X better than Y, although Y is available, but I am choosing X. Ko so, in any other when y is available, when I choose y, then x is not available. Nahi hona because it will be wrong, then when you have said that x is bigger than y, and now you are saying that y is bigger than y, Right? So, uh, this property is known as weak axiom of reveal preference. In Ronald Coase's uh, Nobel winning Coase theorem, if two bargaining parties have zero transaction cost, well-defined property rights of the good and there are no income effects, right? And there are no income effects. So they will always reach an efficient bargaining solution of the good. If property rights are well-defined, so you will Pareto efficient outcome. If I have a right that I have a clean water ka right, hai, और आपको पोल्यूट करना है तो आप मेरे पास अगर आपने पोल्यूट करा तो मैं कोर्ट में जा सकता हूं बिकॉज़ मेरा प्रॉपर्टी राइट मुझे ये कहता है कि मेरे पास क्लीन वाटर का राइट था तो कोर्ट मुझे डैमेजेस दिलवा देगा या फिर आप मेरे पास आ सकते हैं आप कहेंगे भाई यू हैव क्लीन वाटर राइट आई अंडरस्टैंड बट आई नीड टू पोल्यूट सो आई विल कॉम्पेंसेट यू इन सम वे प्लीज डोंट गो टू कोर्ट सो देयर इज अ बार्गेनिंग व्हिच इज कमिंग so they will always reach an efficient bargaining solution for the good. Right. Then you have this guy. For a manufacturing firm, the cost function is given by C is equal to Q cube plus 2Q square plus Q plus 1. The MC and AC at Q equals to 10 units are respectively given by what? So you just find out what MC is. That is 3Q square plus uh, 4Q plus 1. And... Uh, at 10, it looks like what? So 300 plus 40 plus 341, right? That is uh, 341. And what is AC? That is C upon Q. So this is Q square plus uh, 2Q plus 1 plus 1 upon Q. Hey, you wanna? Q square plus 2Q plus 1 plus 1 upon Q at Q equals to 10. So it will be what? 
टेन स्क्वेर टू इंटू टेन प्लस वन प्लस दिस का सो दिस इज वॉट योर योर हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट राइट सो दिस इज दैट An allocation for agents in an economy X is said to be Pareto superior to the other allocation, right? This is said to be Pareto superior to the other allocation. Um, if moving from allocation Y to allocation X, the key, you will say that one allocation Y is, and you move from X to move from X. तो x कब परेटो सुपीरियर होगी देखो तो परेटो सुपीरियर के लिए ना तीन कंडीशंस होती हैं जैसे कि मैं y पे बैठा हूं और x की ओर जा रहा हूं तो या तो मेरी और तुम्हारी दोनों की यूटिलिटी बढ़े तो वो परेटो सुपीरियर है या फिर मेरी यूटिलिटी बढ़े तुम्हारी कांस्टेंट है तो वो परेटो सुपीरियर है या फिर मेरी तुम्हारी यूटिलिटी बढ़े मेरी कांस्टेंट रहे तो वो परेटो सुपीरियर है राइट right? अगर वाई से एक्स की ओर जाते हुए मेरी यूटिलिटी बढ़ रही है लेकिन मेरी यूटिलिटी बढ़ने की वजह से तुम्हारी यूटिलिटी घट रही है तो वो परेटो एफिशिएंट है सुपीरियर नहीं है सुपीरियर के लिए तीन कंडीशन है मेरी और तुम्हारी दोनों की यूटिलिटी बढ़े मेरी बड़े यूटिलिटी तुम्हारी यूटिलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट रहे या मेरी यूटिलिटी कांस्टेंट रहे तुम्हारी बढ़े इन तीनों में से कोई भी हो परेटो सुपीरियर होगा अब यहां पे इंक्रीजेस नो एजेंट्स वेलफेयर का कोई मतलब नहीं है इंक्रीजेस सम पीपल्स वेलफेयर वाइल रिड्यूसिंग अदर्स एफिशिएंट होगा क्रिएट फिजिकल डेफिसिट इज इेलिवेंट इंक्रीजेस ऑल एजेंट्स वेलफेयर उन्होंने एक कंडीशन लिखी है जो मैंने कहा आपको या तो दोनों की यूटिलिटी बढ़े Suppose an individual has the utility function u is equal to this. Uh, we can say that uh, this function displays. Uh, so you just find out what uh, M R S is. D U is two D X plus three D Y. So along the utility, you have this guy minus. 3 dy, so dy by dx is minus 2 by 3. This is what my MRS is. Now, how is this MRS changing as x is changing? That is zero. So it is the case of constant marginal rate of substitution. It's the case of constant marginal rate of substitution, right? I think next set of questions we'll do in the next class. Thank you, Vita.